Since the James Webb Space Telescope was launched on December 25, 2021 from ESA's launch site in Kourou, French Guinea, the telescope has been monitoring space and taking pictures of strange things up there in space. And today, we look at one of the terrifying images James Webb Space Telescope recently sent to NASA scientists. Make sure you watch the entire video to find out. We, humans, were created to be curious and want to know how things work and how we can explore more in our surroundings. The universe is a large ecosystem to explore, and we must learn what's going on at the other end of space, whether there are other habitats living at any corner in another planet, and therefore we must also research the hidden characteristics of the universe above us. Thanks to NASA scientists for creating the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, which will perform an excellent job of scanning the universe, particularly in space, and obtaining useful images that will be used to study the properties of space and entities that may be hiding inside it. GNZ 11 was the name of a particular galaxy. For space specialists, this galaxy was particularly impressive. The reason is that this galaxy was born when the universe was 400 million years old, according to astronomy specialists. This was surprising since scientists had assumed that galaxies formed over a longer period of time. The galaxy really looked pretty fascinating, but the Hubble Space Telescope was not meant to find more of its kind. The reason for this is that our universe is expanding, and as a result of this expansion, redshift occurs, which causes the light of distant galaxies to shift to a longer wavelength, rendering many of these galaxies invisible to us in visible light. However, it may be seen in the infrared, a wavelength to which the Hubble Space telescope is not sensitive. It is hoped that the James Webb Space Telescope would be able to view back just a few hundred million to 200 million years after the Big Bang, allowing hundreds of these types of newborn galaxies to be discovered. The scientists who build the James Webb Telescope boast that it could detect a bee on the moon, so we don't have any issues about its capability to reveal any hidden entity in the universe. James Webb Space Telescope is unique in that it was built primarily to detect infrared radiation. With a regular telescope, you can detect the wavelengths of visible light in the sky. Infrared waves are emitted by everything that generates heat. Infrared waves are emitted by humans, animals, the sun and fire. That's why you'll see soldiers wearing night goggles all the time, because they detect infrared because the telescope will be looking at stars, galaxies of stars and planets, all of which emit heat, infrared waves will be captured and examined. The other advantage of infrared is that when a telescope looks at stars that are billions of kilometers away from us, the light from those stars has traveled such a distance by the time it reaches the telescope, and since we know the universe is slowly expanding, the wavelength of light has been stretched. The wavelength of the signal is increased, Red shift is the name given to this phenomenon. The larger the mirror of the JWST, the lighter the image it can capture, and the image's resolution will be substantially greater as a result. Consequently, large mirrors are being included in the design of more complex telescopes. This mirror is completely covered in 24 karat gold plating, because gold reflects the most red light of all the metals. The reflectiveness of this mirror is 98% due to the gold. The temperature on Earth has never dropped below negative 89 degrees Celsius. So how is it possible to keep this telescope so cold? It is conceivable to carry out this task in space. It is likely since space is extremely freezing unless there is sunshine. The temperature would swiftly rise if sunlight fell on it in space. This telescope has a lot of issues with it. As soon as sunlight fell on this telescope, everything began to heat up fast, posing a concern. A sun shield has been built on this James Webb telescope to avoid this problem. The sunscreen is like the size of a tennis court and is shaped like a kite. Hence, the telescope may be shielded from the sun. Each layer has a vacuum gap between them, so that its efficiency can be improved. Aside from that, each layer is coated with aluminium. A covering of doped silicon covers the two layers nearest to the sun. Hubble is orbiting the Earth and is very near to us, but unlike the Hubble Space Telescope, the JWST will not be deployed near the Earth. However, it will be launched 1.5 million kilometers beyond the Earth's surface, at the L2 position to be precise. The L2 point is unique in that it rotates with the Earth. As a result, the sun will remain obscured throughout the duration of the revolution. According to NASA, the entire process of developing and launching it is so difficult that they have discovered over 300 possible issues. There are almost 300 single points of failure, and if any one of them comes true, the entire endeavor is doomed. That's a loss of more than $10 billion. 
the scientists believe that by utilizing this, they'll be able to learn more about how stars and galaxies formed after the Big Bang. You may appear 13 billion years into the past with this telescope. Only 1 billion years after the Big Bang, the Hubble Space Telescope could peer back. Around 12.8 billion years ago to be precise. JWST has already deployed its solar array to collect energy from the sun and it will subsequently deploy its high-gain antenna to connect with the Earth. The telescope will then gradually deploy multiple beams and structures, changing its form to study infrared light from the distant universe. By the summer of 2022, the first photographs of Webb will be available. Webb will be focused on spectroscopy because it is an infrared telescope. Hubble supplied visible light photos. Webb will also be able to see planets orbiting Mars or beyond, as well as satellites, comets, asteroids, and Kuiper Belt objects. It would also be able to observe more than 13.5 billion light years distant and collect evidence on the universe's origin. JWST's primary goal is to shed light on the universe's early galaxies, unveil the creation of stars and planets, and search for exoplanets with the potential for life. So, what should be our expectations about the James Webb Space Telescope that it'll achieve? It will utilize its incredible sensitive infrared capacity to view galaxies that have previously been impossible to sight. JWST will be able to teach us more about the early universe and tighten up our beliefs about the Big Bang since things further distant are viewed as they were further into the past. It'll utilize its high-tech spectrometer to determine how much sunlight passes through the atmospheres of exoplanets transiting between the telescope and their parent star. It will enable NASA scientists to investigate the chemical composition of the atmosphere. This may not seem interesting, but it's possible that we'll be able to locate planets with high molecular oxygen concentrations, which might indicate that there is life existing there. Maybe we could find substances in planetary atmospheres that do not occur naturally, but are regularly created as byproducts of industrial activities. JWST could be the instrument that first finds evidence of life around other stars, and could even be the first time we find other intelligent life in the universe. Of course, it may scan hundreds of thousands of planets and find nothing extraordinary about them, which would be sad from a human standpoint, but fascinating from a scientific standpoint. What is the expected lifespan of the James Webb Space Telescope? Will it still come back to Earth? Haven scanned the universe? The truth is, there's no way it's coming back to Earth. When it runs out of fuel in roughly 20 years, it won't be able to maintain its orbit around L2 because L2 is an unstable equilibrium point. JWST will begin to drift away from it. It's conceivable that NASA may spend the remaining of the spacecraft's fuel to place it in a graveyard orbit, but that's unlikely, and the JWST will likely continue to collect data until the tanks run dry. It'll be moving too fast to continue in its current orbit around the sun at that time, so it'll drift away from it, its sun shield will become useless, and its cameras will stop operating. Its final orbit would be elliptical, making it difficult to forecast owing to interactions with the Earth-Moon system's gravity on the day it runs out of fuel. So it's hard to tell where it'll wind up, but it may eventually become one of the debris in space that's after 20 years of capturing several images of the universe. You can also check what SpaceX has found on Mars. It's terrifying and changes everything you know.